Our time in NASA has come to an end, and we're prepping the boat to sail to Eleuthera. That includes troubleshooting our electric motor and getting a few groceries before we head for Spanish Wells. This is our first sail since arriving at New Providence Island three weeks ago, and it didn't disappoint. Todd even caught our first fish in the Bahamas. Previously on Spoon Drifter, we spent three years in a boatyard bringing our 40-year-old hurricane-damaged sailboat back to life. Todd, I, and four of our 10 kids knew nothing about boats when we started, but with time, we have repowered, re-rigged, and turned this boat into a home that's ready for the next big adventure. NASA is a great place to have friends or family come visit your boat. There is a lot to see and do, and it's easy for them to come and go from the international airport. After one last morning wandering through parts of Atlantis that we hadn't seen yet, Katie and Logan were finally ready to head home. Whoa, it moves a lot. <laughs> Nice, Todd. Well, I don't know if they were ready, but their tickets said it was time to go. All right, guys. So we had a weird, loud noise happen the last couple times when we've anchored and we've been like backing up, like trying to make a turn. So we're doing a back and fill where we go forward and then reverse and try to spin the boat. It only happens in reverse and it only happens at high RPMs. I'm, I'm in the process of tracking it down. First I thought it might be the impeller um, because an impeller runs water through the system and in reverse our impeller goes backwards. And so I pulled the impeller out, but that did not solve the problem. So then the next thing I did was I greased the, um, the, belt, the belts in here. I can't really see them. The belts are those gray things right there. And at the bottom of where those belts are is a grease zert. So I greased those and that still didn't solve the problem. So the next thing I've done, taking the prop shaft off right there, which means that now when the motor runs, it's not gonna turn the propeller at all. It's just the motors themselves running. Okay, so that's pretty good forward reverse. This is where the noise was. Did you guys hear anything? I don't think so. That means that the noise is coming somewhere from the prop shaft back. Let me go turn it by hand, see if you hear anything back here. Did you guys feel anything or see anything in here? Well, the good news is I got some drips going on here, which is more than I've had before. Sometimes tracking these things down is a real pain, but um, since I do have salt water coming in the boat right now, washing my hands, that's a good sign as far as the uh, packing line goes because it's been so tight that I haven't been able to have a whole lot of dripping going on and I was actually a little concerned about it. Um, it's actually so loose right now that you can move the, move the cap in and out a little bit because it wasn't letting enough water through. So now it is, that's good. I guess that my next step is gonna be checking the alignment on the prop shaft because when I took it off and now they've separated, I slide them back up. They don't, it doesn't line up anymore. It's off center. Now it could be that something has shifted a little bit and it needs to be realigned. And so I might have to realign the whole motor with the prop shaft, which is reasonably easy to do with this motor. It's loosening a few bolts and moving it around a little bit. That is um, 
not quite lined up there. So that's not flush there. It's not flush over there. It kind of appears to me like I need to move this motor over to port just a little bit to realign the shaft. I have realigned the engine and the prop shaft because what I discovered was that three of the four bolts on the engine were just a little bit loose. Two of them I could turn by hand. The third one I needed a wrench, but at very light pressure it broke loose. <coughs> so my theory is that through the vibration of the motor that it had slid over a little bit, making it off center with the prop shaft, which worked okay in forward gear. But when we go in reverse and the props flip over, and they start sucking backward, they put a different kind of tension on where the prop shaft is, and that's what was making the noise. And I put the drive shaft and the coupling back together, so now we're going to test it. Okay guys, do you see what I see while editing this footage? Todd didn't review the footage and assumed because the noise stopped that all was good. It takes a while, but this movement will eventually cause the noise to return, but that's for a future episode. That seemed to fix the problem. Uh, you heard it go both directions. No big clack 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 at the end, which is a good sign. Misalignment had just happened very recently. It was only the last couple times we used the motor that we noticed that was a problem. One thing off my boat list, about 13 more to go. All right. Now, if it's not this that smells in there, <laughs> That's a problem. I think that is what smells. It smells terrible. The girls yeah, had wanted to make a conch horn, but hadn't found a shell in the ocean that was intact. We purchased this one from the divers who sell them at a local market. We were told that putting it in the freezer would kill the conch and allow us to remove it without putting a hole in the shell. It worked, but this was a big mistake as the smell permeated the freezer. Needs a little more water to be covered. Now we're soaking it in some bleach water. This will thaw the conch and allow us to get it out and hopefully clean the shell a little bit. We needed to restock our pantry before we headed out to Eleuthera. There are two grocery stores near the Nassau Harbor. The first one we visited is called Super Value Food Store. It's large, has good prices, and the locals shop there. The second is Solomon's Fresh Market. It's closer to the marinas and feels nicer. I don't think the selection was as good and the prices were higher, but it was more convenient. We got our groceries. The ride under the bridges can be exciting if there's a lot of boat traffic or stormy weather, but today was pretty easy. It's always interesting to check out all the cargo that the ships have on board. Okay, we have left New Providence and Nassau. Where are we going, babe? We are going to Spanish Wells. By the way, this audio sucks. We apologize. Can we try to fix it the best you can? We're using the GoPro, which doesn't have a good mic. So, that's what we got. It's our speed. 6.6, 6, 6. 6. 6, 6. 6.8. We've even done 7 knots. It's our apparent wind. 13.6. 13.6 apparent wind. 89 degrees off the wind. Beautiful. Getting the first sailing experience. First time in a sailboat. Well, I don't know if you're first time in a sailboat. <laughs> Not for me. Chris, first, first time in a sailboat. We've just learned another lesson about sailing on a schedule. We had originally planned to sail south to the Exumas where Christopher and Aubrey would catch a flight out of Staniel Key. But the winds were not cooperating, so we ended up going east to Eleuthera instead. We've learned that tickets are best purchased once you arrive and know what you need. Prices on travel between the islands seems to be pretty stable, not needing much advance notice. We're like doing seven point 
7.3 to 7.5. We're an hour from when we start crossing the reefs into the protected area around Spanish Wells and Alufa. Um, waves are pretty decent. We're healed about 8 to 10 degrees. And it's not super rough, but it's just rough enough that some of us have a bit of a tummy ache. We're not like thrown up or anything. Um, but yeah, not feeling a hundred percent. So Liberty, Liberty, I think might have a bug from hanging out with some of the, one of the kid boats had a virus. And I think now we might have it. But we'll see. Excited to be getting somewhere new. Barracuda. They have very sharp teeth and carry cigatera, a toxin that causes diarrhea, vomiting, numbness, itchiness, temperature sensitivity, dizziness, and many more things. We won't be eating this fish. Don't get it. Don't get it. made it to Meek's Patch in Eleuthera and it was an awesome sail I think. Did you guys like it Christopher? Uh -huh. Alright. Aubrey? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Not too bad? So we were flying. I mean we were uh, on a beam reach for almost all of this. Uh, the lowest we had was really 6.8 or so knots of wind. And I think the highest we saw was like 24.9. So we had some pretty high gusts. Uh, I would say the average was between 15 and 19. Most of it was full sails. Uh, we did reef uh, the main at one point, And then uh, toward the end when it started getting higher, we dropped the main, did a jib and jigger with the, just the head sail and the mizzen. And um, that's how we came in to meet the patch. That was pretty awesome. But for the most part, the ride was actually pretty nice. Uh, there was a point when we were quartering waves when it wasn't so nice. I actually really enjoyed it. And we hit, what, not, what's the highest we hit, babe? Nine something knots? 9.2 .2 knots that we saw. That's when I insisted that we... <laughs> she says that's when she insisted that we reef. 
<laughs> I'm going, let's go faster. Let's go faster. Yes, fast. Kick in the turbos. You know, but we're here. I'm rambling. She says I'm rambling. We are supposed to get 30 knots of wind tomorrow. So we're anchored. And uh, I don't know if you can see or not. Let me see here. I'll point right there. That sailboat right there is Cadence. Uh, they also have a YouTube channel. They're out of Kima, Texas. The Anchorage has got, I think, like 16, 17 boats in it. We're all battening down for the storm. Yay, Denali. She did it. Our diesel cans over there were complaining of a sunburn, so we put a shirt on them. <laughs> well, babe. Did you get like this just flapping in the wind, like down here from this angle? Yeah, you can use this footage too, B-roll. We're discussing B-roll. Let us know if you like it. 